Sus one the feature presentation is Power 105.1, home of the Breakfast Club. Angie Martinez, New York City, popping R&B. So we got a Brooklyn representative in the building. I got a record working the streets right now that he's going to present to you guys. CP, the ruler, repping Brooklyn. What's popping? You know what it is. CP, the ruler, representing Coney Island. You know the vibes. All right, so what does CP stand for, first and foremost? CP stands for Chris Paris. Is that your real name? It's not my real name, but it's a name that I went by before I got CP, the ruler. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, how did you get into rap um, growing up in Brooklyn? What part of Brooklyn are you from? From Corny Island. You, know oh, you said saying? Corny Island. The trenches, you know the vibe. Yes. How did you get into the um, to hip-hop? Well, hip-hop, like my brothers did hip-hop as well, you know what I'm saying? So basically, like, I had it in the household growing up. And you know what I'm saying? It really just and you, like you guys used to battle in the house and you was the you was the dominant <laughs> one, so you said, Fuck this, I'm taking it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm taking it there. No, nah, it wasn't even that. Like they used to battle each other, but you know what I'm saying? I really just like watched and learned how to like, you know, get at somebody in a way or you know what I'm saying, or how to put words together and then it became like something I really was good at. So when you first started, was it like a battle thing? When did um, you start making records? I started making records in like I would say two thousand like sixteen. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And I basically um first record I rapped on was um French Montana's um Straight Cash nice. beat. And um my brother was putting on a mixtape and my verse made it on his mixtape. So that's what gave me like confidence too, like you know what I'm saying, to really like push forward with the music. Wait, wait, you said your verse made it on your brother's mixtape? Yeah, because that's like, your brother. So yeah. he still made you go like, let me, let me hear what the verse is. Little. Yeah, really? <laughs> he didn't just automatically put you on the mixtape. Nah, yeah, you know it was saying? a tryout. Yeah, because like Brooklyn, we mad competitive too in in general. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you got to be able to have a certain level of skill set to you know what I'm saying to represent. All right, cool, like. cool. So you got into the game. Your brother allowed you to be on the mixtape. Yeah. What was the next step after that, and how did you get to the point that you're at today? All right, cool. Um, basically, I started. Um, just, I'm just recording. setting. The, I'm sorry, because I'm just setting the vibe out for people who might not know who you are. I just want. Uh -huh. I want them to hear your story. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. So basically, um, I started basically, um, paying for my own studio time, grinding. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that um, I had found a sound. I started listening to like different artists, like Fabulous, mm -hmm. listening to like French Montana, different people from New York, just trying to like really develop like a sound that's more comfortable for me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Once I found my sound, you know, I began recording in the studio. I came with a little hit song. It was called Ah Ah Ah. I did that. Um, He's 100% from Brooklyn, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the called Wave in the Streets and all of that. And I got like love from like DJ Will, you know what I'm saying, from 105 as well. Nice. And um, basically I started building my name and like more developing my sound and finding out that, you know what I'm saying, I'm more of an artist than just trying to just be a rapper. Which is very important, by the way, because there's a lot of rappers out here. There's a lot of rappers that can't make records or, um, you know, can't do hits. anything outside of, like, just spitting bars and battling. Yeah. So it's very important that you also have that part of hip-hop, but you could also make records and all that. Yeah, I make the hits, you know what I'm saying? So right now, me and Jacque tearing up the streets right now with this Miss Parker record. You know what I'm saying? We got it all over. Shout out to my brother Jacque. Yeah, shout all out to right, Jacque. We got a little light-skinned, dark-skinned battle yeah. going on in these streets. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we lit right now in the streets with that one, and, um... Basically, we just moving it through New York City. We about to be in Miami, and we about to really like turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Right, so look, coming out of Brooklyn and getting into the hip hop game, who were your kings in hip hop from Brooklyn that inspired oh, you, know, you, you to go be with that. who you are? Besides your brothers, uh, I'm saying you gotta go with that boy from Marcy. You know, you gotta Hove. give it to Hove. Um, definitely, um, a lot of big. You know what I'm saying? Fab six nine. Know. No joke. <laughs> we not do that. I'm joking. <laughs> you know we not doing that. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know those people that and like somebody like Jay Z also like raised the bar really high. He's like the first billionaire. You know what I'm saying to really like really raise the the standards on what, where hip hop can go in the future too. So I look at stuff like that too. You know what I'm saying? Not just um just the music aspect of things. Just the whole business aspect. Yeah, it's important to be involved with it. 360. What do you have out in these streets right now? And by the way, guys, just because I know this is radio, you can't hear it. He's holding a big, a big wad of cash in his hand as he's doing the interview and flashing it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> he got the whole vibe set up. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so um, basically, I got a project right now called Zo Guy right now, all streaming services going crazy. I got my boy Manolo Rose from that from Rock Nation. Shout out Manolo Rose, that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? We out here, we got Books Baguettes as well on it, and uh, it's, we, it's working. It's, it's on like probably like a hundred thousand streams right now. 
You know nice. what I'm saying? Nice. Moving. Let's just get into that right now. Right now, we're about to get into that Miss Parker record featuring Jacque. All right. Oh, we're going to get into that one. All right. Oh, yeah, we're going to get into that because that's, that's right now. That's, that's hot right now. All right, let's play that. We're on that's fire. The, that's the vibe we're working right now. We're on fire. All right, let's get it. It's Power 105.1. We're doing, you know. Yo, what up, baby? It's Power 105.1, home of the Breakfast Club. Angie Martinez, New York said popping R&B. Yeah. DJ Suss won the feature presentation. CP, the ruler, repping Brooklyn. Coney Island's in the building. You know the vibes. All right. Currently, he's he's flashing cash on the gram. Yeah. He's showing his waves to the girls on the yeah. gram as he's doing you the interview. Show them. You got, you, <laughs> no, it is. Those scene is believing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a strong believer of that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here in the building with you and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Show them that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from New York and I'm representing. I belong here. So, what was the name of that record once again, just for people who are just tuned in that we just played featuring Jacque? The record's called Miss Parker, produced by Alvin Anthony and RG. You know the vibes. Yes. And, um,. Did you kill Jacque on that record? Yes or no? He's on a hook. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a battle thing. You can't battle someone who's doing a hook on your song. Aren't you part of the light skin community? You got to be on my uh, team with this, yeah, Jacque. <laughs> I'm gonna love. put him against you. Yo, Jacque, you know the vibes. How we doing it, man? So what's coming up um, next for you? Next, right now, I'm working on my second EP, which is called Zo God Two. Mm -hmm. I'm working on some interesting features on there. Can't really see the names yet because they didn't finish their verses. So you know, I try to keep that. You know, but it's really a dope project coming out, and uh, you're gonna hear a lot coming from me for sure, especially New York artists as well. Cool. Any videos? Any touring? Oh yeah, um, video that's coming. That Miss Parker video definitely coming. We're working on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jack Quay. You know the vibe. Tour, it, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm still working with a couple of labels right now, mm -hmm. trying to figure out the details and stuff like that. How do you like the vibes in New York right now? We got um, we got popping right now. We got Pop Smoke. We got. Big drip. Hey. Yeah, we got, we, yeah, Fabio, we got a bunch of um people yeah. lit right now. How do you feel about the space of hip hop in New York right now? I feel like there's a lot of space to grow. I feel like um, you know, although people do like the same sound, I still feel like they they do it in their own unique way so that they can still thrive in that market. That market is really, really big. Hip hop market is really big. And I feel like we all can eat here. You know what I'm saying? Why not? We all can eat here. What kind of mark in the next um, 12 months next year are you trying to make in the game and are you trying to make for New York City and Brooklyn? Well, I say right now I'm still developing a new sound that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get like ahead of the wave right now. I got different producers I'm working with from United States, the UK, and we definitely trying to come up with something that's next next generation kind of thing. But I like the wave. I like the New York. I like the drill. You know what I'm saying? I like what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I can do that too. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's more important to be original and do something that's not being done mm. than just going with what is. I agree. There's no problem with it, though. CP the Ruler. I right, tell them where they can find you. Tell them where they can find your music. You know what it is. Your boy CP the Ruler. You can find me on Instagram, CP underscore DA the Ruler. Follow me. I follow back. Um, Twitter, CP the Ruler, same thing. Facebook, you know the vibe, same thing. And music is streaming everywhere? Everywhere. Zogod, everywhere right now. All streaming services. CP the Ruler, repping Brooklyn. Huh? <laughs> right, it's Power 105.1. And it's that boy DJ Sus1. One. You know the vibe. All right. Let's get into some music. Let's do it. You know what it is. I'm with P Dub, DJ Sus One, 105.1. Turn the airwaves up. You know how to do it. Yeah, I get the money, I try. Yeah. I buy a movie to stop. Stop us, they stop us, they fast. I went on and make it slap. I get the money, I try. I buy a movie to stop. Stop us, they stop us, they fast. I went on and make it slap. Oh, God, oh, God. Miss Bo. 